So I have this 8V71 that I just picked up. It was a running takeout motor, but it's been sitting for a few years. And I'm going to go through and check it all out here. I'm actually going to run it before I decide how far I'm going to tear down into it or see what I need to do. Uh, first thing I want to do is go move the throttle linkage and it doesn't move. Come down here, the, the rack itself doesn't move, so I'm disconnecting the governor linkage here. And the rack is still not moving. It tells me I have a stuck fuel injector. Uh, you definitely wouldn't want to start this engine like that because the way that this particular rack works, um, they're all stuck in the same position right now. Sometimes they have a breakaway, the later version of this, so when one of them is stuck, uh, it would just stay in that position and the rest of the rack would still operate properly. Uh, so this one's not. So to figure out which one it is that's stuck, I can't tell just by doing that. So I would start at the end here and loosen the control. And I've actually gone through and done this. So if I loosen this one here, and you can see it still doesn't move. I jiggle it back and forth, it's not moving. And then I go to this one and loosen it. I will learn. that my rack will now move and that one is staying still that is the problem. So the rest of these will move full travel and this one is wedged so I'm going to figure out what's wrong there but at least I've identified which one is stuck and I also have one on the top because the it's doing the same thing on the other side so there's at least one stuck on the other side too so that's why you want to go through these old engines before you just put fuel in them and fire them up.